What's up everybody and welcome back to a set of course out here on the channel So today we are going to be doing the same thing we did on my recent video if you guys didn't catch that Make sure you guys check it out. I'll leave a link in the description taking the BMW M2 with drift suspension on the North Life on Forza Motorsport 7. We're gonna do the same thing here today in a set of Corsa, but we're gonna be using my Evil Rabbit S14. So we are gonna be doing that here for today. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Let's get sideways and have some fun. Like I said, if you guys watched the video on Forza Motorsport 7, we did it in a stock M2. Today we're in a purposely built drift tuned car in a set of Corsa. We are on the Fanatec with the NRG Innovations wheel. You know, that awesome uh, NRG Innovations, you know, suede and black wheel with the evil rabbit on the spoke. Okay. Put that back on there. We kind of need that. It's going to recalibrate. Or did I just totally mess my wheel up? Oh, I think I screwed up my pedals. Sad panda. Oh, no, we're good. Just had to calibrate. We're good. All right, so let's do it. Let's hit up Norse Life here on a set of Corsa in the S14. Clutch kick that in right away. So it's a little bit different, you know, being with a drift tuned car rather than a car on stock suspension and of course a set of Corsa being much more intense for drifting and much more fun so than fourth so if you guys do not have my s14 I will leave the link for the s14 down in the description box as well or if you'd have do not have my evil rabbit s14 make sure you guys check it out a lot of fun there we go Woo. I don't think I've ever actually drifted Norse Life here on a set of courses. So this is new to me. Oh, but we got it. Of course, this is a, you know, Kunos track. So we didn't have to download or anything. It comes with the game. Oh, Grass Life. But we held it. Throwing some massive angle with this car and the angle kit that this car does have in the front of this car. One of my favorite cars is my S14 as well as my 13s. It's gonna be building some new 14s and stuff here soon, and maybe some new 180s and stuff. I'm gonna be bringing that street pack out that I talked so much about. I was trying to hold that. We're just going dirt. It's all good. So I'm going to ask you guys to decide which do you like better. The Forza 7 version here on the track. Or of course the Assetto Corsa with the 14. Which do you prefer? The long eBay grab. Oh, this car just has so much power. And so much feel on the wheel. A little bit of lock up on the front but we're good. I'm a little bit more controlled in a set of courses than I was for the uh, halfway to do with the fact that, of course, this is a purposely built car, and you know I've been doing a lot more drifting in a set of courses than Forza, and the wheel feel is much different here than in Forza. I don't think we're gonna make that. Oh no, we're not gonna make that. Oh, is that a wall tap? Would you consider that a wall tap? I consider that a big wall smash. Clutch kick that thing in third, get the grass off my front tires. Crackles and pops from this 14. Kind of floated that one in a very long time. The smoke is definitely much better here in a set of course, obviously. And the mods being able to have all these amazing cars and tracks that you don't have in Forza, even though this is a track in both games. I would like to find a stock M2 and do the same thing I did in 
Forza in a set with the same car. I don't think we're gonna make that. Oh, we didn't wreck the car though. Do the same thing, maybe find two identical cars in the games and do a full on comparison on the same track and everything like that. So it's a full comparison between the two. I know I did that with grip racing. Oh, um, <clears throat> nobody saw that. I did that with grip racing. I compared them and now I'm going to compare more and more with drifting between all the different games. Don't remember if I have sim damage on because if I do, uh, we, uh, may run out of tires. The course just looks so different. Oh, I missed a gear. Oh, that's one thing Forza doesn't do. If you, the down chip, they'll just grind, but they'll still go into gear in Forza. Here, if you miss the gear, uh, the car's not going into gear. You gotta clutch back in, get back into gear, and things of that nature. Huge 90 lock. We saved it. The smoke just billowing from the back of this car. Gonna be checking my shaders soon to see if maybe I gotta update my shader pack. Definitely can't wait to get to the carousel area. Probably gonna stay in fifth, but we managed to make that turn. Using the rumble strips. Now I'm not where near as good as Vongit Jr. was when he drifted Norschleife, but I'm not doing half bad. I'm asking a lot for fourth gear going uphill on that car on that turn right there All right, let's see if we can do Carousel on the top Yep, I feel like it's much wider in this game than it was Forza correct me if I'm wrong But I feel like that was much wider up top than it was in Forza Motorsport 7 Nope, that's gonna hit Oh, geez. Clutch in. This car would be probably very heavily wrecked. Throwing dirt and grass all over the place, but just having a good time regardless. So I'm leaving this to you guys down in the comments. Let me know which did you prefer? The Forza 7 on this track or the Assetto Corsa on this track? I thought I was going to be good on that, but apparently I washed out a little bit. I think I do have some uh, tire wear issues going on right now. We got it. We're good. Let's see if we can't finish this out with style. I don't know how we managed that, but we did. All the smoke. No handbrake there. Oh, I should have stayed in fourth. Kick that back into fourth. Manji back up. There we go. A little bit of a clutch kick. Oh, we got it though. We good. No! We were doing so good. Unfortunately, it's ripped into the grass just smoking this car in fourth gear right now this car has power for days and like I said if you guys haven't driven this car yet I will leave the link for the car down in the description pick it up for yourself give it a rip got a lot of positive feedback from the cars that I have released to you guys so I'm gonna be releasing more I got them I just gotta fine-tune them and get them exactly what I want I over I overcooked it there before I give them out to you guys I know I've been saying about the street cars and the cop cars and stuff, but you know I want to make sure the cars handle just as good as all these other cars so I'm fine-tuning and tweaking the feel on a lot of the cars to make them not as super snappy and stuff of that nature as well as I am also working oh on 
my own VDC powered VDC comp car as well as some other competition stuff that I will be getting into soon. I know a lot of you guys have been saying I should do more comp stuff again. It's coming. It's coming back. Don't know if it's going to be back on Forza Motorsport 7, but it's definitely going to be coming back here on a set of Corsa comp prep, comp cars, maybe even throwing some tutorials out there for you guys to see how I built my said comp car. Haven't fully decided which chassis I'm doing. I have my uh, physics base and everything on that line, so it's going to be a matter of what chassis I decide to choose. We did this. The end of the video. Oh, no. Hold it. No. We're not going to hold. Oh, my God. We held it. <laughs> so, if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more, make sure you follow me on all social media. Tap that like button. Subscribe if you want to help support the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Maybe hit that bell notifications if you want instant access to the videos. And give me a like. That is all I ask to help support the channel. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.